What is up, fellow writers? Hi, writers. I'm Yuki Jane Pinkard, and this is Story Kitchen. Today, I thought I would talk a little bit about how Story Kitchen got started and what we're trying to do here in case you would like to join us, which I hope you do, because it's going to be really fun and we'd love to have you part of it. So the first thing is that Maureen and I both really like to cook. And so the kitchen kind of became a natural metaphor, like come and join us in the kitchen. It's the heart of the home, um, right? And we want this to kind of feel like you are coming and sitting down with us at our kitchen table and we're just talking to you about story, about writing craft, and about stuff we like, um, while we have a cup of tea or coffee or a glass of wine, whatever, um, together. And that kind of replicates how Maureen and I started these conversations because we would meet up and we would go out and grab a meal or a drink um, or, or just go for a walk and we would talk about story and we had such great conversations talking about writing craft and how we write and technique and process and all this stuff. Um, and we thought, wow, wouldn't it be great if we just could continue this and maybe expand the community of people that we have this conversation with. So. That's why you're here. Thank you. But the other aspect of Story Kitchen and why we call it a kitchen is because kitchens are kind of inherently laboratories, I guess, where you're playing with ingredients for meals, for dishes. Um, and in a similar way, we thought of story elements as if they are ingredients. Right? And we thought, wow, what if we could do deep dives into these ingredients and really, really think and explore, um, think about and explore how they work? What are their characteristics? What happens when you combine ingredients together? Right? What happens when you apply different techniques to these ingredients? And now I don't want to push this metaphor too far because cooking and writing, you know, they're kind of similar, but they're actually not. Um, but I will say that, for example, take something like an egg, right? An egg is a super common ingredient you see in all kinds of different dishes. Um, but if you read a recipe and it said, now add egg, an egg is really important in this dish. Go ahead and add it now. You'd be like, but what kind of egg? Do you want me to beat it in? Do you want me to use it raw? Do you want me to smash it up and stick the shells in? I mean, probably not. Um, do you want me to separate the egg white and the egg yolk and use them separately because they can be treated really differently? So you see how the application of a technique can radically transform how that egg behaves in the dish and what the function of that egg in the dish is. So again, not to push the metaphor too far, but similarly, take a story element like character or setting, right? What techniques are you going to use to deliver the important things about that character or setting to the reader? How are you going to convey the development of the character? How are you going to create an emotional bond or not between the character and the reader? And ultimately that's going to have a huge impact on how that ingredient, the character in this case, how that story element functions in your story, how it impacts your story, and ultimately how it lands emotionally on the reader who's receiving your story. So. That's the idea behind Story Kitchen. We're going to explore the ingredients of story. We're going to think about how technique impacts these things. We're going to put these things into practice because that's another important part of this is that, you know, in a cook, you can't just theorize. I mean, if you're a cook, you can't just theorize recipes. You gotta actually try them out and taste them, test them. Um, and we wanna do that with our story techniques as well. So. That's Story Kitchen. Super excited you're here. If this sounds exciting to you, please subscribe to this channel. We're also on Twitter at Story Kitchen 2. That's Story Kitchen and the number two. Um, and let's see what else. Oh, we also have a, um, a website, storykitchenstudio.com. And we have a podcast as well that will be coming out in a couple of months. Glad that you are here. This is gonna be really fun. Happy writing.